And during the COVID-19 pandemic, about one in five adults has had to provide unpaid health or supportive care to someone they love. Social distancing and other safety practices have further isolated caregivers who already tend to feel overwhelmed and alone. Ursula Perry with how to find the patience, the time and the energy to be a good caregiver. An aging parent, a sick spouse, or a child with a disability. Caregiving comes in different forms, and it can be both rewarding but stressful, too. More than 65 million Americans provide care for a family member or a friend during any given year, and the COVID pandemic has no doubt increased that number tremendously. So what makes a good caregiver? The first step is to take care of yourself. Make sure you get plenty of rest, eat a well-balanced diet, and don't skip your own medical appointments. Also, delegate responsibilities. For instance, if you're managing and providing day-to-day -day care, maybe another family member can manage the finances or maybe the medications. When possible, let the person being cared for participate in decision-making. Support groups are another great resource to help you connect with other caregivers. And recognize when it all becomes too much. You may want to consider an assisted living or another type of facility for your loved one. About 40% of caregivers end up having to quit their jobs in order to stay at home and take care of their loved one. And in the case of COVID, that can be a long-term commitment because symptoms can last for long haulers. And if that's the case, then that's two potential wage earners who are off the payroll and can't take care of the house. It's a big commitment. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.